this is a bowline on a bite. So this end, this end here would be, have to be fastened off onto something. So I'll do the same quick release knot I did for the horse. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is the same way I tied the bowline, except I'm going to double up the line. So this is still going to be the tree. This is still going to be the rabbit, and I have to make the hole. All I did was double up on the line. Okay, so here's the tree. Now I'm going to make the rabbit, I mean the rabbit hole. Okay. Now I'm going to, rabbit's going to come up. He's going to go around the tree. And he's going to go back down into the hole. See how you have your bowling? And this is a double loop. And you can tie this anywhere in mid-flight here. Okay, so if I wanted to, like I said in that other video, tie a horse off this way and tie a horse off this way, I could do that. If I wanted to do it again so I could tie four horses off, I would double up on a line. I would do the same. I'd make a, tree, a hole. The rabbit would come up out of the hole, he'd go back around the tree, and he'd come back down into the hole. And then you tighten it up. Okay, so now, am I running out of camera here, or room? Okay, anyway, if you wanted to tie this off so it's a picket line, you could do that. Just tie this end, whoop, off here somewhere. See if I can turn this a little bit. So you would have two places to tie horses off to. And if I wanted to make six, I would do the same thing. Got the rabbit. You got the tree. Make the hole. Rabbit's coming up out of the hole. It's going back down into the hole. Going around the tree and back down into the hole. And now we have a place for six horses. And you can keep it going that way. That's it.